61A, lecture number 20. Announcements. 61A is now an online course. We have online office hours by appointment here at oh.cs61a.org. We're very lucky to have this available. Our head of software built this online appointment scheduling system in just a matter of days. Normally, we would have rolled it out slowly and tested it a lot, but these are not normal times. So instead, we're just releasing it to everybody. If it doesn't work, post on Piazza and tell us why, and we'll try to fix it. If it does work, we're probably going to roll this out across many other courses in the next few days. Online discussions will start this week. You can find more information on Piazza. And today, I will give the last live lecture until live instruction resumes at Berkeley, which I imagine could be a long time from now. Project 3 is still due Thursday, and you can do it. Submit the checkpoint today, and you can earn an early submission bonus point for completing the project by Wednesday. We will not have a project party this week. Instead, we're scheduling lots of online office hours, and also we have lots of people covering Piazza. So if you get stuck, ask a question. Please don't just find answers from previous semester's versions of the project and submit those. That's not a good way to learn how to solve problems in this course. And also, we've gotten quite good at checking and catching people when they do this. So if you do copy solutions from previous semesters, you're going to have a bad time. Don't do that. Instead, just keep at it. If you get stuck, let us know. And if you think there's no way you're going to finish on time, just talk to your TA. I know the world is quite chaotic right now. And if you need to travel or something like that and therefore can't finish the project on time, I'll bet we can make something work. There's always a better solution than just copying answers that you find on the internet. Homework 5 is posted. It's due next Tuesday. You can just ignore it until you finish the ANTS project. And I've made several of the questions optional so that you don't have too much workload. But actually, I think all those questions are good review for the upcoming midterm. And so I do recommend trying to do them all. But you don't have to do them all for full credit. You could just do the ones that are required. The midterm will be held on Thursday of next week, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. You do not need to be on campus. The exact details of how you'll take the exam have yet to be determined, but I'm not going to ask a bunch of people to all pile into one room, pass a bunch of paper around, cough on it, and then pass it back. So that means the format will change substantially from past semesters, though I think since the topics are the same and the same kinds of questions will be asked, you can still use past semester exams to review the material. I don't have all the details for you today because this situation is, how do they like to put it, fluid. But I'm going to try to figure out exactly how it will work soon so that you can make sure you prepare for the exam. But the most important thing to know about the exam is that you do not need to be here to take it. It will be electronic in some format. Stay healthy out there. Wash your hands. And do your best to keep going in this course, even though the world is a little bit chaotic. Because I think that the material that we're covering right now in 61A is actually quite central to programming and computer science. So if you can find the time to learn about object systems and how they work, that knowledge could benefit you for years to come. Thanks for your patience amid all of this complication. The staff and I are doing our very best to make sure that even though this is now an online course, you'll have just as good an experience as you would have had otherwise.